Hello everybody, my name is Kim Tran. Did you know that the city of Fort Worth has great parks to enjoy while you are practicing safe social distancing? The Botanic Gardens is a great option for those of you who want to get out of your homes and into nature. You can check out e-passes online via the Libby app. Or you can check out a physical pass at any of your open library branches. The pass admits two adults plus children under 17. All individuals must live in one household. A replacement for a physical pass is $1, and e-passes will automatically get returned via the app. Let's go check it out. Here I am at the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens. Usually it costs $12 for an adult and $6 for child admission. But because of the partnership between the Fort Worth Public Library and Brit, we were able to get in for free. When you're here, remember that as long as you maintain social distancing standards, wearing a mask is optional. Come join me and I'll give you a taste of what the Botanic Gardens has to offer. Did you know that your free pass also has access to the Japanese Garden? Let's go check it out! I love the scenic views and the water is filled with beautiful koi fish. Did you know that your e-pass or physical pass gives you access to the Botanic Gardens Conservatory? Wow, it's so beautiful. This is a nice shady spot. I think I'm gonna read this great book that I checked out from the Fort Worth Public Library. It's called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt a book written by Kate Messner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Let's go ahead and read it. I just love reading outside in nature. We have, up in the garden I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt my sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quiet time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms, insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty armfuls and will away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pack them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in the sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! I hide behind the cucumber vines, but the leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato, warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Yum! Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket. A beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Yum, yum! Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. 
bat swooped through sunflowers, and I plucked June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but... Snap! <gasps> Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches up supper. Yum! Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange, and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're sorting food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. When grandpa calls us in for soup and autumn moon is rising, up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble. The wind smells like winter, but the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bubblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkled down, hiding, biding their time, dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts. Under the bare arms of trees and blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. The end. Wow, I saw that Nana built a spot for reading in her garden. Do you like to read outside? Being in nature is sure relaxing. I know my mind and body will benefit from the experience. Speaking of nature, my friend Cheryl from the Botanic Gardens has these activities to recommend. A free and fun activity is the topiary scavenger hunt. The topiaries will be on display through spring 2021, and the scavenger hunt is available digitally via QR codes at the admissions desk. Let's try one of the scavenger hunt challenges. Hmm, it says gorillas are shy. If you were a gorilla, where would you hide? Let's see, I'm looking. Oh, there you are, there's the gorilla. And we also have Big Daddy Gorilla too! You and your family can enjoy the fun boardwalk. There's all sorts of kid-friendly games. Let's play this one. It's called Name That Tune. Let's see what sound this bird is. Oh, I hear it. What bird is that? It's a wren. Did you identify it? The boardwalk has also this fun science experiment. These are called whisper tubes. You and your family can experiment with one person at one end and the other person at the other end. Let's see if someone can hear me. Hello. You want to try? I'm so glad that I stopped by the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens. Remember, anyone with a Fort Worth Public Library card can check out a free pass either online or in person at your local branch. I challenge you to stop by the Botanic Gardens or your local park. These are some upcoming exhibits that will be featured at the gardens. Stick Work by Patrick Doherty. Known for his naturally constructed sculptures, visitors in February might be able to see the artists working with volunteers to create this artwork. And visitors throughout 2021 should be able to see this sculpture on display. This spring, 2021, the Botanic Gardens will be installing a new story walk on the Pollinator Pathway. The story will be Round, written by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Lisa Congdon. The feature will be in the parking lot, so it's always free! Thanks for exploring the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens with me. Remember, you can check out free passes at the Fort Worth Public Library. Have fun!